guys. We are with the Wendy's. I'm Flo and Lance is behind the camera today. Uh, we thought we'd share a video with um, a lot of people that follow us on Facebook and some people on YouTube that we get a lot of questions um, about our lifestyle and how we work remote full time. So we thought we'd give a little tour of our rig, our home on wheels and all the upgrades we made inside. Uh, there will be a future video of Lance doing the outside upgrades, but what we have is a Grand Design Momentum 2019 376th, and the th means toy box, meaning the little tiny um, garage in the back under the bed. So uh, let's start with the, this is our living room. So the first modification we made was I needed a work desk an area so we removed the sofa sold it uh, put in a nice desk um, along with that we wanted to upgrade the lighting to have the lighting a little bit more fancier um, and then we're also experimenting with curtain rods and curtains we're switching over to a southwest theme so we're trying to figure out what type of curtains to do but we did switch out and put these nice curtain rods in along with my desk the tear down and set up, we really needed to have an electrical outlet here for my um, laptop and monitors and all. Lance set all this up himself. He's great at that. Uh, moving on to the front area here where the TV is. When you do a quick overnight uh, stop at like a Walmart and all, when we, we do not pull out these slides, okay? So when we sit in those recliners, we can still see our TV. The issue is our TV is down. And we could not reach, with this slide in, we could not reach this button to put our TV up. Um, so Lance came up with the idea of putting a switch here. And then, of course, Lance always thinks of, well, how can I use this space? So he did a quick Wi-Fi shut off that or shut off not valve shut off button switch, switch. Um, which you need to reset that occasionally as you know on top of it um this radio is great except for the light would always stay on so lance did a on off switch it conserves energy and the annoying blue light's gone <laughs> um moving on uh we put in a sound bar and a subwoofer. The subwoofer is located behind the sofa. You do have room. We have a small box for a subwoofer. It makes it sound wonderful for movies and YouTube. Over here is where we chose to put our pep wave, uh, which enhances our internet, right? Our unlimited It's a cellular press. router. Yeah, there you go. Um, so we, we chose to put it there, so it's kind of hidden and out of the way. That's Lance. He likes to keep things neat and clean. Um, on, and if you could see, I have decor. And the problem was the decor wasn't lit up. So Lance installed uh, lights that he got from Grand Design. And they're also push button, right? So you could pick and choose. But um, yeah, I did it with a. We have a switch there for the backlighting. Um, these just turn on and off easily. Uh, what else, Lance? On over the lighting here is easy to maneuver. Turn on and off. You can have both on. Or if you're reading a book, you turn it on, turn it off. We'd like that feature. And the lights for down there actually came from there. <laughs> <laughs> so we just kind of moved them around. And then we also have uh, this little, since they can see it better in here instead of the bathroom, this is a, what do you call this? It's a, a water leak sensor and it's Bluetooth, so. Yes, it'll let us know, give us a, an alarm, is that what it does? To let us know if there's a leak, a water leak. Um, so with the air conditioning units, there are a couple of things that Lance did, modifications that were huge for us living in the rig. Um, was first of all the soft starts, which is really key for when you're boondocking and, and um, operating on solar and batteries. And then we wanted to make sure that we had good airflow. Um, 
and temperature in this rig. In any case, we get stuck in hot weather, which we did this past summer, as you guys saw. We were in 100 plus temperatures. He installed in every one of our units um, the air RV airflow system. Amazing, guys. The before and after test that they did, it, I couldn't believe the difference in the airflow. And this rig was definitely comfortable and was able to keep up without the air conditioner units running. So that was a nice modification. Um, over here we chose to put the weed boost hidden over here. Um, it's a, a self, what do you call that? A tower, a antenna? It's an external antenna that brings the service into here, boosts it, right, and then rebroadcasts it yes. from that antenna. Yeah, this little thing. Um, anything else in the living room, sweetie, that I missed That's something? It. Oh, we want, well, the little modification here. Yeah. As you guys know, these are the emergency windows. The big dilemma we have is that when it's windy, they would always pull out, and then I'd have to go out, take the screen out, pull them in. This is what you call a cotter pin. All you gotta do is hold it, pull it out. It's still a quick release for an emergency. I know a couple people might think, no, you can't do that. Um, but Lance came up with this design, drilled a hole, put a cotter pin in, and it works beautifully. I can have my windows open when it's windy out. Uh, let's see, anything else? All right, we're moving down into the entryway of our rig. Um, first thing is we upgraded all of our fire extinguishers, guys. You really need to look at the fire extinguishers that are in your RV because most of them are what, BC? And they are not A, B, C, and you want that A. Most of the rig is wood. Um, that was a big upgrade we did. The door, I didn't think it was a big deal, but now that Lance did it, I love it. Uh, the window with the pull down sheet. I like to look out, see who's at the door. Um, the screen, we added the handle. This handle's awesome. And Lance did the, what do you call this? Spring? Friction hinge. Friction hinge, which I didn't think was a big deal. But Super easy a, mod. It's this hinge here and this hinge here added. Yes. And they're they're on friction, so the door can be set pretty much wherever you want it, and it'll stay. Even at, even in high did, winds. Yeah, I mean, I'm amazed at how much I wrote. You know how many times I opened the door and the wind would get it, and it would almost hit our rig. So that was a nice modification. Another nice um, upgrade that we did was our locks. Uh, we wanted to have custom locks, um, not just the standard key that unlocks everything. So this is RV lock. Um, you can set it to be a specific password. You can do a quick lock. Um, you can unlock it with a password or you can unlock it with a key. So you can... Um, or remote. Or remote. Yeah, we do have remotes too. So that was a nice feature. Uh, with the door. Anything else there with the entry? No. Um, so let's go around to the hutch. So we did um, install some accent lighting. This is all Lance's equipment. He'll explain all that when he does all the outdoor stuff. Um, I don't think anything else right in here. Um, here is our reading for our refrigerator and freezer temperatures. And then right above there is our weather station that we have outside, which is very important for us to keep track of the wind speeds, especially the wind speeds. Temperature, I'm not too worried about. It's the wind speeds. Um, and that's been wonderful. And Lance will show you that when he does the outdoor um, tour. Now the refrigerator was talking about the temperature. This is what they look like. You just hang them in there um, in your freezer. Also in the back of the freezer, I added the real thin cutting board sheets. We cut them to shape. It takes five minutes to defrost your freezer. It was a beautiful thing. You get them on Amazon, they're wonderful. You can get them in colors, you can get them clear. Five minutes, awesome, the ice just comes off. Uh, let's see here, modification here to the microwave. I used to always have to go up, plug it in, plug it, unplug it. We're very, when we are boondocking, we try to conserve and save as much 
energy and our resources as much as possible to make our stay out here longer and to be able to really enjoy it. So one of the things he did was remote control. <laughs> we also had this remote control on the recliners in a living room. And the only reason I'm saying that is because sometimes we would forget to unplug them and then we would accidentally hit the heat or the massager or the lights on. And when you're boondocking, all that matters with using all that energy. So he did a remote control for that as well. He's a techie kind of guy. You guys know that. Um, all right, Lance, what else? What did I miss? Uh, okay, so backsplash. We love that. It's easy to wipe off. It was easy to install. It brightened up the kitchen. This simple little pad is amazing, a drying pad. It's at Walmart, it fit here perfect. Same with my Brita. We triple filter our water, just how we are. Um, so the Brita fix perfect right here, guys. <laughs> and then we did install um, LED lights underneath, which made, believe it or not, he did one in the regular light one the LED light and I couldn't believe how much yellow and, and dim and the lighting just changed. So that was a nice little feature. And that nothing with the stove. Um going gotta, to the, gotta have the ear bottle over. Oh there. that's right, you did. <laughs> yes, he loves his beers. Um in here we are big clear container people. We love keeping things in container. Now we have a lot of food right now because we're boondocking. Um, but these were nice. They have little Walmart. They have the little and they double come in, deep. Yes, double deep. And we labeled them. So it was a nice little feature and have. This was the next COVID kind of upgrade that Lance did when he was bored. Uh, every day we had to take our coffee maker, bring it over here before we went to bed, make our coffee, let it cool. Let it dry, then put it back. Every night was the same thing. So Lance said during COVID, this was one of the projects he wanted to do. He raised his cabinet. And the reason was mostly for condensation. Yes, because this gets all when the coffee's brewing in my teapot. So then we were worried about the trim. So we stole a piece of trim from back here, which you don't see, and used that because it was during COVID and it would just take too long to get a piece of trim from Grand Design. Um, and this works out really well, easy to wipe things down, and uh, it works well. Now, when did Lance's desk, we had to make the decision to, pretty much to sell the dinette and put him in a desk. Um, he has a full-time job and works really hard and has heavy workloads and designs, and he needed his own desk area. So it worked out really well. He has a nice view. Um, on the side of his desk, we wanted to have a place to put shoes. He came up with that idea. These are little coat racks. And um, he has his side and I have mine. And then, as you can see, our tassels, we got rid of the little plastic things that make a lot of noise when it's windy. It, you know, bends into here in the windows and you hear them all day long. We also added, added these to quiet down the blinds, but uh, we're not sure what to do with the blinds yet. We're uh, still trying to uh, figure that part out. Uh, did I miss anything in here, Lance? Oh, our, our entrance, our little island. This is um, real thin slate, peel and stick. Easy to cut, you just need one of those uh, utility knives or something. And Lance added LED blue lights for a little accent lighting, which came out really nice. And we did the backsplash. Yeah, backsplash Peel and stick there, towel backs all the way around. There and here. Yeah, and we just went with something a little bit different here. Anything, did I miss anything in the kitchen? I think it's good. Okay. Obviously, in the hallway, we chose to get rid of the wooden balances and put in curtain rod with. And the curtain rods from Amazon, thanks to one of my friends, Myra, stole her idea. And uh, the curtains were from Target. We had to cut them and tweak them and use the no sew type tape. And it works out beautifully. I've washed these and dried them, and it, that no sew tape is amazing. Uh, I think 
that's it for the little hallway. Next is the bathroom. A uh, couple modifications was we upgraded our GFI uh, outlet. Believe it or not, the one that was in here, there was something wired wrong with it because all I do is take a shower and it would just pop. So he upgraded that. We added um, a backsplash to make it easy to wipe and keep clean because it is the bathroom um, area. A lot of people ask us, where do you put your toilet paper? This works out great paper little holder uh, and, and then we upgraded our fan here this is the max air fan has a lot of extra features that I love a lot more speeds a lot more variety and you can reverse the airflow and these are great too and then on to the shower I have lights come in here there are a couple little upgrades so you got the uh, hooks, the 3M hooks, and then you have the little body wash, little, that's great for boondocking as well. And then we upgraded our shower head to the, what is that called? Oxygen. Oxygen. And it has a shut up, didn't you install a shut off valve? Which is great for boondocking as well. You heat up your water, you save your water before, um, as it's heating up and then you shut the valve off. Um, Lance, also another important thing I can't stress enough because we had trouble with our toilet early on when we first bought it, to have a shutoff valve on your toilet. That way, if you do have a leak or even if, what if, I mean, we always turn our water off when we leave for an extended amount of time, but that's just, when he installed that, that gave me a little bit more peace of mind, especially with the toilet being there and always having water, so. Um, anything else? Nothing else? Okay. Okay, on to the, the bedroom. So, just a couple modifications here. Um, laundry hamper was a big deal for us because we always kept it out. We had a big bag, canvas bag, and Lance just hated the laundry bag out. He wanted it hidden. So, Lance came up with this idea. You put a metal rack in, cut it down to size, and that's our laundry bag. Um, and then we put clear containers, and you still have a little rod there, just in case if we ever changed our mind. Or um. And then we upgraded our fire extinguisher in here, and we do have a Dyson vacuum. We do have a central vacuum, and it's okay, at least for me. I rather pick this little thing up and just this thing is so handy has attachments it also has um, the uh, sorry this the vacuum floors it, actually Lance does a lot of the vacuuming I'm very lucky <laughs> um, so that works out well um, it's one of my favorites and I don't think there's anything much in the bedroom right oh uh, in the US USB outlets he installed on each side. Um, in this particular model, they did not put USB outlets in. I heard that future models have those, but uh, we did miss that. And then, of course, we did curtain rods in here and seeing color curtains with a gray tone, and we love that. And um, and in this, guys, this is oh, this thing. Our garage is a little bit more cooler. So, and we like it cool at night for sleeping anyway. So we get up super early in the morning. We're on East Coast time, Baltimore, Maryland time. Lance gets up about 3.30. And you know, it's really cold in the morning. So what we do is once we get dressed and get ready for work, we shut this door. And this is a, what do you call this? I don't door, know what they call it. Air flow. And you put it at the bottom of your door, guys. This is just a great idea for people that have garages. And all you do is shove it in, and you would not believe the difference in the draft. We did it before and after. We could not believe how much draft was coming from the bedroom. It's about back. a two-inch two inch gap, I think, down there. Yeah, this just makes a big difference. Um, it's just little things like that to share with everyone. Um, and then we have a, a stopper lens put on the back of the door. It's a magnetic one. And then we have room to put uh, 
coats or shirts or whatever in the behind the door, which we loved. So, uh, is that everything? I think we got everything. We have so many modifications and and things that we've done. It's really hard to keep up. <laughs> and when we think we're done, Lance always finds another modification. But anyways, I just want to personally thank you for following us and uh, um, liking our videos and just being a part of our life. Uh, we just, All we're here to do is to share our journey and our experiences. And we'd love to reach out and help other people. So if you have any questions or want to know why we made an upgrade, just send us a message or send Lance a personal message um, on our page and he'll be glad to you know talk to you one-on-one -on -one about that and why we made the upgrades we did so keep uh following us Lance will be doing an exterior tour of all his upgrades of his solar lithium and other things that'll be uh useful information for you guys all right everybody take care thank you